Hey, what's up, guys? This is Christopher Smith. And this is Seth Jung. And we're with Scottsdale Parkour. And today, we're just going to show you guys some basic parkour skills using your everyday park obstacles like benches, ledges, and rails. So you can find pretty much any part of the world you are that has um, some kind of civilization, you know? So here we'll take you over to Seth Jung. He's going to show us just some basic movements you guys could start out with um, when you're outside at a park. So off to you, Seth. Short little three-move combo. So, movement one, just a basic coffee grinder. Stepping up off the ledge, requires a little bit of leg mobility. Straight leg, switching all the way around. First couple times you can sweep your leg on the ground. And then we're gonna move the back leg and push back down to the ground. The second move was a palm spin. That did a slight variation. Just span up halfway around instead of all the way back to the ground. That way I could finish the second half of the spin on top and go right into my macaco. So you got half a palm spin, then all the way around the rest of the way, squat down with macaco. So all right, third move, gonna be the macaco. So from a squatted position, if you guys are familiar with the crab, right? We're gonna take our opposite hand up over our head, lift up through our hips, and back down to the ground. Uh, a good variation for the macaco, especially beginning, is to come in much more sideways. Instead of over the back, we're gonna come into the side, and it's up to you how high you want to kick your legs. The higher you get your legs, the better it's going to look. All right, so we talked about three separate moves, and now we're going to link them together and show the whole combo. Ugh. All right, and Chris is going to show you guys some more basic movement over here on some stairs. We're going to call it a side monkey. Um, or side crawl to get on top of the ledge. So both hands to the side, lifting up the hips, pulling the feet over. The second move was going to be a reverse fall. So from here, with whatever arm you guys are comfortable with, you guys are reaching over with the opposite foot. So almost do a reverse step fall. From there, 180, reaching, pushing with both arms. Alright guys, so now we have a bench, very common object to find outside, and we're going to make another simple movement, three move combo. Alright, so movement number one is your basic parkour shoulder roll, and step one is going to be squatting down. Arms to the side, and you're going to slowly bring your shoulder to the ground, and then keep that tight ball so you can make it nice and smooth, right into the land. Step two. Uh, this one doesn't have a common name yet in the parkour community, but it's just a leg swing. Straight leg again for aesthetics, all the way back down. And then as you guys get practiced with that, swing your leg around. There's a lot of different variations you can do, and I like to kind of just sit on my inner hamstring and spin all the way back down to the ground. And that's going to be useful later for connecting step two and step three. Step three is going to be combining from step two, so we finish that leg swing. This foot comes down, and we're going to lift up our opposite leg, and now spin it very much like a hook kick. So if you guys think of these in terms of kicks, the first kick would be like a roundhouse, and then coming back down around for a hook kick. And as we practice more and more, we can actually sit on the object, which is useful if you want to do it on something higher. Spin all the way around, and back down. All right, guys, so right here, we're just at a, a very small drop. Um, four or five feet, depending on what you're comfortable with. But I'm gonna show you guys just a quick three moves that can be linked together with drops, um, along with other edges on the other side. Start actually with a step bump. Get the leg up and over. From here, I'm going into an absorbed landing. Putting my hands a little bit to the side, depending on what shoulder you roll on. And going for a shoulder roll. From here, I'm already in a good position to do a various fall. Um, I can do step falls. Um, as I'm right here, I can step through. Um, in the case with the video I just did, I was going fast enough for me to speed out, um, almost even dash out. But it's going to be whatever you guys are comfortable with. Alright guys, well thanks for watching this informative video. 
Um, check us out on scottsdaleparkour.com for more. Until then, see you later, guys. Thanks for checking out the park with us, guys.